back to Dunn's World. I'm done. If you're new here, I'm going to give you a kiss, give you a hug, mm, and say you're welcome. you love it here. And if you're returning, welcome back, fam. So in today's video, I'm going to give y'all some fall and winter essentials, all right? Now, these are some things that you probably should already have in your closet if you haven't purchased them yet. But I'm just going to give y'all a list of just onesie, twosie things that you should have in your closet. Truth be told, Fall and winter is the time to really show off your style, whatever that may be, if you have the style or if you're trying to find style. Fall and winter is a time to do it. You understand what I'm saying? Throwing on a jacket and a pair of pants is just not going to cut it, y'all. It's not going to cut it. You need more than that. You need more than just the simplicity. Now, I, don't get me wrong. Simplicity is everything because I love simplicity. But when we're talking about this weather and we're talking about this cold air, we got to stay protected against it so that we're not out there in them streets freezing, trying to look cute. You dig what I'm saying? So just know that this is the time to layer, y'all. It is layering season. It's time to throw on that hoodie with that jacket, with that beanie, or or or, you know that hoodie with that pea coat with that with that beanie you understand like just little just little tips just little tricks just little ideas like that you understand what I'm saying but if you do have those items go ahead and pull out that hoodie go ahead and pull out that sweater go ahead and pull out them beanies the overcoat pea coat whatever y'all want to call it and let's get into it so I'm gonna start out with the sweater and right now I am wearing a medium this sweater came from Zara um, so the sweater has become such a traditional, classy staple within the fashion world, as well as the cardigan, as well as the vest. So just so you guys know, the sweater is trending. It's, it's very much so trending, especially because of the season. But something I wanted to point out to you guys, based off of what I am currently wearing, it is more fitting, right? In which we have gotten so far away from more fitting outfits. Everything is so baggy, it's so big, it's so bulky. But I'm here to tell you that you do not have to adhere to the baggy look. If you want to wear something fitting as such, then you can. Wear something as baggy as such too. So just to let you guys know, there is no rule book on how fitting or how baggy your clothes are. It's all about what's more comfortable for you. And even with this fit, I can still throw on a pea coat or overcoat or whatever you guys want to call it. Just as such. I literally just transformed this whole outfit just by putting on this pea coat, all right? Now, idealistically, you guys are thinking, hmm, I probably would wear that with something a little bit more fitting, right? But because of the style and the complete norm of what is in right now, a lot of people are wearing the baggy stuff. Now, I want to put emphasis on it. You do not have to. You can always wear some skinny jeans with this fit, with some really nice loafers, or some Chelsea boots, or just a pair of really nice shoes, all right? But I just wanted to present to you all the essential, which is, of course, the sweater, but also to put emphasis on the layering. I mean, we gotta get into the beanies because you cannot step outside of your house during the fall and winter without at least having a beanie on your head. I feel like the beanie is very much so an essential to any type of wardrobe, any type of outfit, and let me tell Tell you, I have many, okay? I have them in different colors, all right? I even got some laid over here so for some future outfits that I plan on filming. But these are the type of beanies I'm talking about. Not these type of beanies, in which no hate, no, you know, no recoil against these type of beanies. I don't know, I just, I, I just never found any interest in these kind. They kind of seem cheesy to me. I don't know, kind of childish, kind of cheesy, I don't know. But, 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 that's not to say that you can't wear those. I'm more so of the plain type beanies in which I got these ones off of Amazon. And they come in so many different assorted colors. So, beanies is a must, y'all. It's literally something you could throw on your head. And a beanie is a must, especially in the season. It's going to be cold, it's going to be windy. And as I stated in the beginning of the video, you do not want to be caught outside trying to look cute, freezing your ass off that is listen that is the huge downfall is is stepping outside your house and not being prepared for the weather like come on y'all it's 2024 you gotta have a beanie all right <laughs> but i'm gonna show y'all all right let me show you something ain't nothing like a nice beanie and this is the beanie y'all like it's not even the same color as the sweater. It is a fall color. It is a neutral fall color at that, green. And I'm already wearing brown, tan. I'm, I'm wearing probably like three different browns, including the pants, as well as this um, pea coat that I'm about to throw on. But bro, make sure you have beanies. 
have a beanie, save a life. And then to upgrade that this whole outfit with the beanie, I'm gonna throw on this pea coat because I had the pea coat on with the baggy pants and the fitting sweater. Now I'm gonna throw it on with the fitting pants, i.e. skinny jeans, loafers, beanie, and you have a transformed, upgraded casual outfit. And this is what I mean by you can go about it any type of way. Now, you probably could not wear this type of beanie with this outfit. That's why I'm not really big on these type of beanies. I like the plain ones, the ones with the little single fold. I don't even care for the beanies that you gotta constantly roll up to make them a little bit fitting and tighter on your head. The single fold beanie, just the one boom and done, that's it. Simplicity. <laughs> Need I not stress that enough? Simplicity, baby. Now we cannot talk about the essentials of fall and the winter season without talking about the hoodies, okay? You gotta have a hoodie. A hoodie is just so convenient to this type of weather. I mean, just a quick little pullover, a quick little one-two when you about to walk out the door, throw on a hoodie, you could throw on that beanie. It is an essential piece to anyone's closet being that we are approaching, if not already, in that fall winter season. So now, you have different types of hoodies. You have your zip up hoodie, you have your pullover hoodie. Now, popular, right, of course, is the zip up hoodie just because of the convenience to do so much more with that. You get more of an outfit and more outfits with a zip up hoodie just based off of the simple fact that you can expose the undershirt. Now with a pullover hoodie, you can't really see what's under that hoodie unless you are just going to take the hoodie off altogether. But with the zip up hoodie, of course, you can wear the undershirt, an undershirt, any type of shirt, and it'll be visible and it could still add that much more to the fit. Not telling you guys that either one of those options are wrong because both of them are right, but it's up to you on which one is convenient to you or convenient for you and your style. Rather you wanna do a pullover hoodie or if you wanna do a zipper hoodie. But just know that there are options to it because what I said in the beginning of the video, layers, layers, all right? Now, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about. So, I know I'm wearing a lot of black. It probably looks like I'm about to rock the bank just know that there's a point that I'm trying to make. Y'all just sit tight. I'm still piecing it together, but you're about to see it in this next clip right here. So I kept this pretty plain, all right? And of course I do have on that black beanie, but I have on some Yeezy sweatpants, Yeezy shirt, Yeezy hoodie, and then I have on this varsity jacket that I got from Boohoo Man. So this right here essentially is just me layering, but I kept it real simple, all right? This outfit, I'll probably step outside to run some errands, especially if it's freezing, all right? So this is what I mean by having the zip up hoodie and you're exposing that undershirt as far as what you're wearing under it. Now, if I was to throw on a hoodie, a pullover hoodie, you wouldn't even be able to see this. Now, of course, guys, I get it. There's really nothing to see here because it's a plain black shirt. I understand that, but at the same token, if I wanted to wear some fly ass shirt or a fly ass button up, I wouldn't even be able to see it with a pullover hoodie. So you have the option to either wear a zip up hoodie, right? So you can see that undershirt or a pullover hoodie. If you're kind of just like, um, I think I'm gonna just wear a plain shirt or I think I might just wear a beater. Or I might just wear something super duper simple underneath this hoodie because I don't care to show it. You have options. But do know that when it comes to wearing the pullover hoodie, it is so convenient and it's flexible, especially with knowing that you don't have to really focus on too much of what you have on underneath it because nobody's gonna see it. You dig what I'm saying? So pullover hoodie is definitely a must, but like I said, it's either or, whatever works best for you, whatever works best for your style. Hoodies are just so major. I mean, let, let's, let's just, you know, outside of the fact of it just being so convenient to just throw on real quick, but who the hell about to throw on a puffer jacket? It's not even that cold yet. So, you know, it, we, we, we gotta work off of what the season and the weather is giving us. So we're not gonna throw on a puffer jacket. We're not gonna throw on a, a trench puffer jacket neither. There is no need for no trench coats just yet, y'all. So that's why it's so essential to have a hoodie on your closet to throw on if it's chilly outside or even a sweater if it's cold outside and the beanie. 
need the beanie. The beanie is just an essential accessory to go with your outfit, no matter of however you feel fit to style it in this time of the year, all right? Especially when we're talking about the peacoats or the overcoats is what the fashion world calls them, overcoats, you know, even with those, those are not quite yet in season yet. I would more so make that or put that in like a winter essential. That's when it's dumb cold outside. That's when it's like, hey, you need a scarf. You need some gloves. You know what I'm saying? So, but we're not there just yet. We're kind of in the realm of hoodie, maybe a jacket or either or. Maybe not even both just yet, but either or. <laughs> all in all, y'all, it's all about how you want to dress it, okay? I mean, there is no rule book on how to do this. There is no fashion book on how you should present this or how you should put all these different pieces or even essentials together. You do however you see fit with your style and with the way that you dress, okay? Make sure that you are able to build some type of rotation off of these essentials as far as the clothes that you have in your closet. Because like I'm telling y'all, we're not trying to be cute outside and freezing. We're trying to look good. We're trying to be warm. I ain't trying to look good outside and be freezing. That's 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 not what we're doing here. We want to go about it the right way. And there's so many ways to go about it and still be fly, okay? So take these essentials and build your rotation off of that however you see fit, y'all. I am so glad that y'all came by, stopped by, clicked on this video, and actually sat all the way through and listened to all of these different things that I had to tell y'all. You already know what to do. Go ahead and hit that notification bell, baby. That way you stay in the loop whenever I post a video. And as always, fam, it. Ay, ay, one time light Two time light <laughs> Ay, me pop my Say let me put you in position for the acquisition of some major paper I'm just dipping, we ain't even tripping You could thank me later, sauce and dripping Oh, I'm finger licking, serving different flavors See me flicking while I'm chasing chicken Plying on some acres, ay Any full pack of top papers, bout to put some peas in it. Twerk it for me, baby, and make sure you put your knees in it. I got leg room, I could probably fit your knees in it. What y'all know about that country shit from by the river, sis? Thought I told you colder than a winner out in Winnipeg. Popping like you better be when you the proper pedigree. Blowing sweet and sour while I'm chewing on that sesame. Know that God blessing me so they can't get the best of me. Sometimes he be testing me. I perfect my recipe Cocoa butter cutter Got it cracking at the crib We some ghetto boys Nah, nigga lacking where I live I might ride around my side of town I'm flexing, feeling fancy Just filled up my stomach I got extra in the pantry Getting top and winning Still no, I don't need no plan B Only give a fuck about my freedom And my fam Keep it playing, keep it pushing Keep them guessing, keep them looking Keep my people out the booking Cause we 